morning welcome to my channel let's diamond paint little witch how are you today it's a beautiful fall day rather overcast overcast okay so we are working the bottom here. These are the new cover papers which I absolutely love. They don't stick into see that easy. So let's see. I have already made a test to see if I need to give space, but absolutely no problem. Let me get a little bit closer over here. I don't know why it's crooked. How should I know? Okay. And let's see, this is number five, but I need the symbol. X. X, X, X. I kit it up. This is how many, how much black we have. I showed you that. Um, I needed a big container. This is 939. Actually, I think it's navy blue, but you never know. You know, I can't tell colors. And uh, this container was very good for the two packages of 550. So I have put these out because there's much of that. So I use the big trays for these two. You know, the big trays that we got. Okay. So as I said, I need X to fill in over there. Um, it seems to be a little bit of checkerboarding, etc. Different colors of purple. That's why I know it's not a 310, so it's a 3939. It looks more like a navy blue. Kind of hard to see with the, um, nope, I can't really see. As you can see, these are square diamonds. Whoops. And this is X. So I need to fill in over here. And I need to put more light on the subject. Looks like I have to, um, okay. Oh. This is what, what we would call checkerboarding, you know, where we have to fill in. Um, <clears throat> like this. I can't wait until I get to the face of the little girl. It is upside down, the little witch. And I started, you know, in the, um, the right corner because I will turn it around. I will go all the way across the bottom and I will turn it around and then I will have to I will not have to go over um the area that I already put diamonds on. Um this would have been too big for me to reach all the way up there. So this is why you know you remember how we do this. This is why I do this method, and with these cover papers, I took off the cover from the bottom across here. So I, this is the top of the picture, and so this is the top, and I will finish all of this, the top, and then I will turn it over and work on the bottom again. I will work from the left to the right, and this um saves wear and tear of uh, the area that we have already 
I see no problem with the diamond. They seem to be of good quality. I have not uh, found any rubbish. There was a bit of a static when I was kitting up. I didn't do kitting up on camera because we have done it so many times. I didn't think it was going to be, you know, interesting. I don't like to bore people. I don't, <laughs> I get bored easily. You know me, <clears throat> I know. So this is a combination from what I see of uh, number five and number X. So this is like a uh, brown color, but it could be a deep purple. Yeah, actually, it looks like chocolate color, but but then I'm hungry. I have already finished Sunday dinner. We're having stuffed chicken, mashed potatoes, cucumber salad with garlic yogurt death dressing, and fruit for dessert. I have been adding um, little by little um, food to my strict diet. Actually, what we are doing is trying to see um, how well the pancreatitis has healed. Um, so far, doing fine. Hubby labeled me a survivor. I am really pleased. Um, let me see. With my progress. There have been no setbacks. I found the different methods for taking 20 pills. I will have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion about it with my uh, family doctor. I have researched most of the pills so I know what they are for. And now that I know what they are for, I can understand the purpose and why is it important right now to keep on taking the medication as prescribed do not try and play with your medications after a heart attack because there are specific reasons why you are prescribed what you are being prescribed, um, especially medications that prevent, um, well, actually, it just helps your blood not to clout so fast because it will create a problem in your heart that the catheter was put in and etc. So you don't want any blood clots in there. <clears throat> this multiplicer actually is too thick um, to neatly fit it in there. So what I do is I skip a line and then um, Either that, or I will uh, use the other multiplicer. Um, and that way, I can um, put in the diamond neatly. Okay, now I did miss a line of X's. X, X, I think I was over here. Yeah, we have some... Uh, over here also we have a mixture of the A, which is the dark. We have a mixture of this, this, and this over here. It's a combination of these three um, 
symbols, these three colors. When we are finished with this, this will take longer than the gnomes. But I think we have enough time to get it done by Halloween. I was so happy to finally get my hands on Wichapu. I think for two years I've been trying to get it and I was missed out on it. So when I saw it on this Hungarian website that I ordered from, you know, they delivered the next day. Um, and we don't go through customs. It has a habit of tearing apart my packages. Love it. I think they sit there and play with my packages. But anyway, <clears throat> you know, not much you can do about it. So this was X. And in the other places, we need the symbol number five that I showed you, these ones. Really, I don't have a big enough uh, thumbnail to see what this um, area, okay, this is number five, not to get it confused with the symbol A, which is on the top. Okay, we have two symbol five over here. In some of the places, you can only go one this, which is fine. Like I said, we're in plenty of time to get this done by Halloween. Yes, I'm crooked and I don't know why. Come on. Which poo needs to straighten out. There. Is that okay now? Well, today I've noticed my voice is getting better. So, it looks like I'm going to be Okay, just needs patience, which I don't have. I've been given permission to go down the stairs. It's not going down the stairs, that's a problem. It's coming up the stairs. And if that trial works, then I would say I'm out of the woods. The treatments I got <coughs> were successful. Doesn't seem to be any um, lingering problems, which I am thankful about. You know, in my old age, yes, Come on, stop laughing. I can see you rolling on the floor. I said that before and people got real upset, you know, they said, how can you see me? I said, it's a joke. Ha uh ha, -huh, you know, lighten up. Whatever happened to people's sense of humor. Oh, there's one X. This is good when you have two or three colors um, laid out for you to work with and then you can just start you know when it's a checkerboard like this you can pick out a color and fill it in so you don't have to go back to the same area yeah you know me seems to be very tiny um, diamonds. Okay, and then we have another section here of uh, checkerboarding. And this is number five. 
Usually I put uh, the drills in the tray that I work with so I know which one is which. The bigger ones are marked with the symbol because we're going to be using a lot of that. So, and when I'm finished, I just take a wipe and wipe off the, um, the marker. I did clean off some of the storage boxes because, um, you know, the labels that we used, some of the backing of the label was stuck on the storage boxes. So I took, took some um, nail polish remover with acetone. Usually I don't use that, but I couldn't get the gluey stuff off. And when I ordered the refill, I made the mistake of ordering permanent labels rather than replaceable labels. So the next time I order a refill, um, I will know what not to order. Because then I can take the label off the jars and put it on the bags, you know, when I get down. Um, the diamond painting, you know, we get up and then we get down. Get down means I put the leftover diamond into little Ziploc bags and I label what is in each bag. I still save the leftover diamonds because I don't feel I have a big enough stash of different types. When I get um, a stash of each the square and the round of each DMC code, in other words, of each color, because the DMC code refers to the color of the diamond, and the DMC code is same for the embroidery thread. This is where they got the DMC code from. I really didn't compare the DMC code of the diamond to the DMC code of the thread because I was rudely interrupted by getting sick. I mean, really. I had really much more important things to do than hang around in the hospital. <coughs> but we're finished with that. Really, some of the um, stories I heard in hospital really got me worried, you know, like I'm going to be restricted, I'm going to have to change my lifestyle, etc., etc. I'm going to be an invalid. Well, folks, let me tell you, they don't know me. I doubt if a little issue like that could make me an invalid. I did have fantastic doctors, so. The hospital was horrible, but the doctors were fantastic. Yeah, well, we have a problem with the healthcare system. Actually, the hospitals, they claim they have no money for everything. So firsthand, we will not talk about hospital food. <laughs> oh, let's not go there. <clears throat> Especially when you're on a restricted diet and they don't know. Um, actually, I found the diet to be extremely high in carbohydrates, which I don't do. Anyway, I keep it to a minimum because my stomach goes like, what the hell is this? So it just sits there. And the majority of the diet in the hospital was carbohydrate. And what I was shocked about <clears throat> was the heavy-handed use of salt. I 
I mean, even in Hungary, they tell you to restrict your salt and sugar intake to as much as possible without uh, giving up flavor. You can substitute the salt and use herbs and spices. <coughs> I was wondering how, how long my voice will hold up. Actually, using um, fresh herbs and spices, you know, not you don't have to use hot chili and stuff like that, especially when you're just uh, getting back on your feet. But the fresh herbs are fine. They don't do any harm. And you can achieve a tasty meal without using an excessive amount of salt. Well, sugar I only use in the morning. I'm having a cup of... Well, I've been having tea. Today I had a cup of coffee. Um, it was made um, not with the capsules, but with pouring boiling water over coffee. Well, like a filter you know so it was a bit weaker than what I would normally have and I had no adverse effects of the coffee so like I said it looks like I'm over the hard part just need to get my strength a little bit more back Of course, I'm treated like a princess. Hubby has been doing the shopping. And my goodness, when I got home from the hospital, the house was spotlessly clean. I was surprised. Actually, when a person has a, well, shall we say life-threatening illness, it's very difficult on the family also. Because what I didn't understand, Hubby said he felt helpless. He wanted to help, but <laughs> not much that he could do to help. I told him just your support and knowing how much you care. And he's keeping everything in order at home. So I have absolutely no worries except to get back on my feet, which I did. So when you have the support of your loved ones, I think the recovery is much goes much smoother, smoother and perhaps much faster, don't you think? So folks, I think for the rest of the month we're going to be working on witchy pool. I do have some stickers yet that I want to um, make to use on the window for Halloween decoration. We don't have trick or treat in this country. I think Minimasa wants, wants to be a car for Halloween. Sometimes I wonder if instead of legs, the kids should have had wheels or something. I mean, seriously. I'm surprised he doesn't wake up in the morning and go boom. But there are two truck drivers in the family. Including his foster daddy. I 
would say I'm very blessed with the people around me. I don't know of any negative people, very positive. Although I do have a very tough exterior, I am extremely sensitive. And I would feel when people are not genuine. That is something that I noticed that um, I have to act tough. Yeah, I have to plug in my, um, <laughs> my tripod. It decided to quit on me. We have a place where we can multiply. I like to get the side done because this helps me as far as guiding um, my diamond painting pen to go straight. Yeah, I know, me and straight lines don't mix. And then we have some more checkerboarding over there. Let's see if I can multiply right there. Stick between the other ones. Yep, that worked just fine. And then I can go lengthwise over here. Sometimes I go vertical, sometimes I go horizontal. <clears throat> this prevents gaps from showing. And this is especially important when you're doing um, um, square drills. From here, when I wanted to escape, let me see if I can I got it. It's always a challenge for me to start a new diamond painting. So this is the way I learned to help myself. Um by doing, you know, the corner, and then I can go like that. Then I know what I'm doing, which is a miracle. I see you. Okay. And then we have a few over here. Recording. Well, congratulate me. My voice has kept up. And then we have X's there. And this is number five. Thank you very much for spending time with me this Sunday morning. Stay safe, stay healthy, be happy. The sun is peeking out through the clouds. <laughs> Bye for now.